every human being is a child of God. Heaven Letter Number 4822 February 6, 2014 How lovely is a day with you in it! Have I not said this before? Perhaps this is a new idea for you. You may have even thought that you were a blemish upon earth. I must tell you that you are perfect upon earth. You are exactly what is perfect in the here and now just as you are, regardless of what your picture may look like. If you think otherwise, layers of disguise have disguised you, from yourself and from others. Earth life has been a little bit like Halloween where people get into the spirit of it and wear costumes. You, however, may well have come to believe that the costumes you wear are the truth of you. Costumes are costumes. You are not your costumes. You are a real live human being made in my image. In costume, your image may well be distorted, yet the truth of you is undisturbed. If only you would see beyond the surface and see your bright shining self. The beauty of you is not hidden from me. I, and all the great spiritual ones, could also see. And what they saw, you can also see. All you have to do is to see deeper. See yourself and others beyond what the eyes may see. See beyond education. See beyond categories, police records and report cards. See beyond behavior. A crying baby is nevertheless a child of God. What you may see as a poor player in life is also a child of God. Everyone on earth is my child, despite what anyone else might say. Have I not said that there is no least nor is there a most? Evidence is surface, beloveds. In every human being, a heart beats. In every human being, desires roam. Beneath what may seem askew lies a pure child of mine. How much good does judgment do? Know truth, see truth, live truth, you I am talking to, not someone else. Know, see, and live truth, and judgment will have no reason to pound its gavel. I do not speak of foolishness. Beloveds, I do not say that you should go into the lion's den, yet, I say, is not the wildest lion also beautiful? Does he not have his place in the sun? Can the same beauty not be recognized or thought of, or considered in every human being including those who have performed what the world calls grievous wrongs? You would not deny the entrance of fresh air and sunshine, and yet you frown. What if no one frowned? Would not the world soar high? What if condemnation did not exist? What would you do with yourself if you no longer compared yourself up or down? What if you just loved? Love from afar is also good. What if love became your coat of arms? What if love heralded your arrival and your exit? What if love were uppermost in the hearts and minds of my children on earth? What if denigration no longer existed? What if your thoughts could inspire the world and the ungainly person before you? I say you can become love in every aspect of your being. I have said that you can heal yourself in an instant. You can also heal yourself of snobbery. You can heal yourself of judgment and negativity. Do not think that judgment and negativity have to exist for your survival or for you to be in your truth. The truth, your truth, my truth is reality. There is one reality and it holds true for everyone whether you see it or not. This does not mean to feel sorry for anyone, least of all yourself. If there are no excuses for anyone to behave badly and commit crimes and such, there is no excuse for you to judge, nor is it for you to forgive, because there is nothing to forgive either. Of course, you do not hold on to that which does not profit you or another. Take away blame, and where would forgiveness have a place? Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org